Hey everybody, today we're installing a receive only antenna for the MFJ 1026. As you'll see, I'll be giving credit throughout the video for the YouTube channels that helped me with the research. Uh, appreciate all the hard work everybody's put into sharing their knowledge. So I think the best bet is to try to repurpose this J pole into a mount that will work for the 3 ace 24 ham stick and it looks like it's going to work so this coax feeds into the family room where i had a yasu 2900 at one time and the issue with that in the family room was that it interfered with a TV show that uh, Mrs. N0KTZ was into. The show was called Longmire. You might be familiar with it. Boy, this was put on to stay. It's been a couple of years, uh, a few years actually. Probably five, six years ago, put this up. It's one of the first antennas that I've installed. And uh, yeah, I guess I did it in such a way that I didn't think I was ever going to take it down. So, oh yeah, it's like brand new in there. So I wrapped it with vulcanizing tape and then over wrapped it with UV resistant tape. Whoever did this did a great job. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that okay? Well by the way I'm using a wireless microphone from Rode. It's called the Rode Wireless Go. There we go. Alright. Boy, that is brand new in there. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so let's take this on. So I'll be installing a ham stick up here. Um, I have to give credit to uh, KB9VBR Michael for answering his emails. Oh yeah, we'll be able to make this work nicely. I'm pretty sure that I should be taking off these reflectors. There we go. Okay, yeah, we can use that. MFJ 7748 UHF to 3 ace 24. Got all the pieces and parts. Okay, let's go do it. Just enough to snug it. Okay, let's install the ham stick. This is a 40 meter ham stick that I tuned for my GMC Yukon with a bubble gum mount on top of the roof. Like I said, this coax feeds into the family room, so it's coming out. And then I'll run a 
length of coax up into the apex of the roof. We need to bring that coax line down from the attic. Same way I did the coax and the ethernet. There's the ground. Ground bus. I need to add another pigtail for that 1026. Yep, 16 inches on center. Get another one of these jobs. Or if there's a template in here. Which there is. That's pretty funny. There's one in English and one in Spanish. Eight inches to the center. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll leave this off until we get the wire down. Let's just see how that fits. So the cable comes down through here and out the hole, obviously. Looking good. And then go up top and drill the hole for the coax to come down. I don't know. This is going to fit. Oh, God bless America. We'll put this on an AB switch and then we'll see what the difference is on receive from the hamstick to the vertical diamond. Again, we're just using the hamstick for a receive antenna to uh, balance the noise out, to null it out with the phaser. So let me know what you think. Counterpoise or no counterpoise? 40 meters. A, B switch. Right now we're on B, which is the main antenna. And the RG8X is to the hamstick. And I'm getting more noise on the hamstick. I'm still picking up uh, these guys that are talking, but they were 5.9 Got a S7 noise floor But it seems to do the trick for a receive antenna to null the uh, noise out so Well, let's see what it looks like on 20 meters It looks like 20 meters. There's not a lot of activity on 20 meters right now, but I'm getting an S5 on the diamond antenna for noise. And yeah, it's not as good as a receive on 20 meters. 10 meters? How about an S3? Whoa, look at that, S9. So it's not doing a good job on 75 meters, obviously. It's a 40 meter antenna. 